A funny thing starts to happen when you start getting to know and taking care of your natural hair. My hair journey has taught me that everything inside and outside my body is connected. What I'm trying to say is, I can't truly say I'm taking care of my natural hair unless I'm taking care of my whole body, internally and externally. One example of that are my nails. My hands are the main tool I use on my hair. So if my nails are neglected, the splits and hangnails will get caught up in my hair strands and rip them out. It's happened to me a couple times, so I won't be surprised if it's happened to you as well. That's really the main reason why I started paying closer attention to my natural nails. Over time, I've perfected my regimen, and it looks like a lot of you have noticed. So I'm gonna try to make this nail series as comprehensive as possible, so you have all the information you need to assist you in growing out your own nails. Nails are part of the integumentary system, which also includes the skin and hair. Amongst other important functions, this system forms a physical barrier between all the little critters and chemicals in the external environment that wants to kill you and your fragile internal environment. So as far as protection, it's important. Nails and hair are more similar than what many people think. They both have a matrix where all the magic happens. And for the most part, they are both made of a hard protein called keratin that can grow long and long and long. Keratin is like Play-Doh. When it's pushed out of the matrix, it hardens. So it can create any shape, size, and hardness. So just because hair strands and fingernails don't look alike, doesn't mean they don't have a lot in common. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm always talking about how important it is to take care of your scalp. More specifically, your hair follicles. That's because your hair follicles is where your matrix is located. The matrix is what creates your hair strand, and every hair strand has its own. Apart from eating a healthy diet full of tons of fruits and vegetables, the best way to take care of your scalp is by keeping it clean and free of buildup. Fingernails have a matrix too. I treat my nails the same way I treat my hair. That's why I don't wear nail polish anymore. I like for this area, similar to my hair follicles, to be free of suffocating buildup. Microscopically, it's also easier for chemicals and nail polish to enter your body through this area. I'm not saying to stop using nail polish, just be aware of the risk and perhaps take breaks sometimes, especially if you wear tips or gel or wraps and stuff like that. Many of you feel like your nails grow really slow, but just like with hair, it's not that your nails aren't growing, they're just breaking at a rate where you can't see your growth. So growing out your nails should really be about length retention, not so much about ingesting pills to increase its growth rate. In the next video, I'm gonna go over my nail regimen in detail so you can follow it and achieve length retention like I did. I'm also gonna share some tips on how to make your nails grow out thicker and stronger. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.